most of us, I think our treasure isn't measured with coin counting machines, but with clocks. Time is our treasure. We add one day to the calendar every four years, but some of us feel that we should add an extra hour or two to each day. We're busy. There never seems to be enough time to do all we have to do, let alone all we want to do. We try to do several things at once, multitasking. Not only do I not have enough time, I have less and less of it every moment. I'm running out of time. Sooner or later, I'll have no more time. Each second brings me one second closer to the end. Yes, indeed. Time is a treasure for me. I have a limited amount of it, and I don't even know how little. I have a lifetime of duties and desires to fit into that rare time, yet it disappears even faster than a poor widow's savings. 2,000 years ago, Jesus sat opposite the temple treasury to watch people being generous. Today, he might sit across the street from one of those big digital clocks that record the passing tenths of seconds in a blur. For if I wish to imitate the widow's generosity today, I would not give a few coins or even a big bundle of bills. I would give time. There's no shortage of uses to which my time could be put. There are lonely people who need someone to, who will give time to listen to their stories, to join them on strolls, to run errands for them. There are children who need the time of adults in order to learn, to make their dreams come true. These lonely people, these children, may even be in our own homes. Projects and programs to make our world better need the time of talented men and women. All of that is obvious. Frankly, though, it's easier for me to give money. I don't have the time to spare. However, the widow in the gospel did not have any money to spare, yet that didn't stop her from giving it. How could she do that? After all, she needed those two coins in order to live. How could she do with her money treasure what I find so hard to do with my time treasure? There are two answers, trust and gratitude. The woman was able to give all that she had because she trusted God. She knew that ultimately all that she had came from God and no matter what she gave up, nothing would separate her from God's love. She might starve because of her generosity, but God's life-giving love would still embrace her. This is very different from the scribes against whom Jesus speaks at the start of the Gospel passage, those bigwigs who like to parade around in their robes and accept marks of respect in public, front seats in the synagogues and places of honor at banquets. They're not willing to trust in God, to trust that in time they would be rewarded. They prefer to seek instant recognition from others now rather than from God later. With that attitude, they cannot risk their treasure because what they have now is all they expect to have. The woman knew better. She knew that what she had, her treasure of two coins, was nothing compared to what God offers. So, in gratitude, she could give them up. God offers me eternity. Can I, in gratitude, find ways to offer up my treasure of time?